This Mass is offered for the following intentions. For the well-being of the members of the Seat of Wisdom community. Thanksgiving to Jesus, Mary and Joseph, the Fathers Reuben, Christopher, Daniel and Joe. Thanksgiving to Our Lady of Perpetual Succor, Saint Anthony and all the saints. Thanksgiving to Mother Mary. Birthday blessings for Charmaine Ferns, Annette Joachim Dice, Yana Bird, Clayton Lobo, birthday remembrance of Lena Rodericks, wedding anniversary remembrance of Theathon and Philomena Cutino, for the souls of Father Marion Fernandez, Sister Saveria, Marina and Edward Oliveira, Gerard Thomas Sampe, Richard de Almeida, Joseph and Marceline Quadris, Percy, BT and Oli Gonzalves, Julius Gonzalves, Timothy Miranda, Innocent Falcon, Eric de Souza, Joseph Pinto, Brendan Fernandez, Joe and Violet de Mello, Domitina Rodericks, John Marion Baptista, Albert Rao, Cassian and Angela Lewis, Irenio Graciano Lewis, Serena Conception de Souza, and Leslie Joachim de Souza, Cecil Rodericks, Oswald Miranda, Rosie Pereira, Rose Rodericks, and Oscar Pereira. must be more and more aware of our rights and responsibilities. As we praise and thank the Lord for the blessings of life, for our parents, for the health we enjoy, for the roof over our heads, the food we enjoy, our employment, our relationships. Let us also seek pardon and forgiveness for all our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray, God of might, giver of every good gift, 
pour into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen Our reading from the letter of St Paul to the Colossians Brethren from the day we heard your love in the spirit we have not ceased to pray for you asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord fully pleasing to him bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy giving thanks to the father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins the word of the lord thanks be to god our response is the lord has made known his salvation Kindly listen to the tune. The Lord has made known His salvation. All together. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. Has shown His deliverance to the nations. He has remembered His merciful love and His truth for the house of Israel. Together. The Lord has made known his salvation All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God Shout to the Lord all the earth break forth into joy song and sing out your praise together The Lord has made known his salvation Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp with the harp and the sound of song with trumpets and the sound of the horn raise a shout before the king the lord together the lord has made known his salvation alleluia 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 follow me says the lord and i will make you fishers of men alleluia alleluia the lord be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory, glory to you lord at that time on one occasion while the crowd was pressing in on jesus to hear the word of god He was standing by the lake of Gennesaret and he saw two boats by the lake for the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets getting into one of the boats which was Simon's he asked him to put out a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people from the boat and when he had finished speaking He said to Simon, "Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch." And Simon answered, "Master, we toiled all night and caught nothing, but at your word I will let down the nets." And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. 
He came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. The Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. After the birth of a Jewish child, the parents are expected to present this child in the temple along with gifts that are prescribed by the law. We know that when Joseph and Mary took Jesus to the temple, they also encountered Simeon and Anna, who were senior citizens, who were praying every day in the temple, and who were waiting to cast their eyes on the salvation of human time. And from the text of the Gospel we know that as soon as both encountered the Lord, encountered the parents of Jesus as well, they broke into their own songs of praise. We believe, brothers and sisters, that every life that God sends into the world is special. And each one of us makes this discovery as we go through life. Right at the time of our birth, when our parents bring us for baptism, we are offered by our parents for the sacrament of baptism, for the very special identity that we receive through the baptism, and then we live our lives in the light of Christ. And it is always a challenge, especially in a world that is filled with materialistic pleasures. There is always this war going on between the spiritual and the physical. And St. Paul is telling us in the first reading today that we must be more and more aware of our identity and live our lives bearing fruit in the name of Jesus. And that is what is meant to be that all of us sent into this world have special gifts and we multiply these gifts for the greater glory of God. And St. Paul is telling us that we do this with the full knowledge that God journeys with us through life and even in our moments of weakness and sin, it is the Lord who shows us His mercy. Look at the Gospel of today. The people had gathered to hear the Word of God from Jesus. And as they listened to him, our Lord very specifically mentioned to Simon to throw the nets. And Simon and his colleagues who had already done enough of fishing for the day and had caught nothing, did not know what they must really do. But they had listened to the word and now they were obedient to whatever he said. And just imagine what happened. Their nets were filled with the catch of fish. Obedience to the word of Jesus let Simon become more and more aware of his identity. But then 
what he was portraying was his negativity. He tells Jesus, I am a sinful man, get away from me. But look at what the Lord says. I call you to serve me, to use your skills. And from now on, you will be fishers of men. Peter presented himself and so also his colleagues. And then they left everything and they followed Jesus. We know that Mary herself was a woman who was presented by her own parents to them. And all through her life, she was available. She was faithful and she was committed because she was obedient to the word. And as disciples of Jesus and devotees of Mary, this is what we are called to as Christians, as citizens of this world. Very often we are confronted with laws. We don't like laws being imposed, but we must remember that very often the laws are made in order for a certain discipline and order. And that is why when we are obedient to the laws, we find that things fall into place. As I said, as humans, it is difficult for us to accept the laws, but we must always pray and be inspired to follow the laws, whether they are religious laws or whether they are civic laws. And we know that when we follow the law, we are obedient to God's word. Mary was obedient to God's word. And her presentation of Jesus at the temple is a reminder that just as God had blessed the whole of humankind with the gift of Jesus, she presented Jesus back to God knowing that he would do great things in God's name. Let us go back to our own lives as children. Maybe we may never remember the day of our baptism, but let us always think of that opportune moment when our parents offered us to Jesus, offered us in the church, and let us live out our identity, bearing fruit in plenty, knowing that our Lord, who has sent us into this world, accompanies us to each and every moment of our life. Amen. Let us now approach God with our prayers and petitions, saying, God of love, hear our prayer all together. God, God of love, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our Pope, Bishops, clergy and religious, that they may persevere through their vocation to believe what they read in the Word of God, teach what they believe and practice what they teach. We pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. For all Christian parents, that like Mary and Joseph, they may set an example for their children and live as law-abiding citizens of both church and country. We pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. For all humans, that we may grow in respect for the law and in so doing, play our part in creating a society of harmony. We pray to the Lord. God, God of love, hear our prayer. For all Christians, that we may learn to read, reflect, and live the word of God in our daily lives. We pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. For healing of our world, that fear, violence, revenge, and anger may be overcome by the strength of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. God of love, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our prayers, which we make through the intercession of Mary, our Blessed Mother. Amen. Amen.
our Lord. For by your word you created the world and you govern all things in harmony. You gave us the same word made flesh as a mediator and he has spoken your words to us and called us to follow him. He is the way that leads us to you, the truth that sets us free, the life that fills us with gladness. Through your son you gather men and women whom you made for the glory of your name, into one family, redeemed by the blood of his cross, and assigned to the seal of the Spirit. Therefore now, and for ages unending, with all the angels and saints, we proclaim your glory, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord. the Lord who loved the human race and who always walked with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples and now for us. He opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth the Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For oh, by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. 
Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led to his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. By our partaking of this mystery, Almighty Father, give us life through your spirit. Grant that we may be conformed to the image of your Son and confirm us in the bond of communion. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, with all other bishops, with priests and deacons, and with your entire people. Grant that all the faithful of the Church, looking into the signs of the times by the light of faith, may constantly devote themselves to the service of the Gospel. Keep us attentive to the needs of all, that sharing their grief and pain, their joy and hope, we may faithfully bring them the good news of salvation, and go forward with them along the way of your kingdom. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our act of spiritual communion, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself only to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It still has to feel your power. The blind and the deaf, the dumb and the maimed, all need to feel your healing touch. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It still has to learn to love. There are those who have eyes but refuse to see their inhumanity to man. There are those who have ears but refuse to hear the cries of those in agony. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It still has to be your power. The blind and the deaf, the dumb and the maid, all need to feel your healing touch. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It's the last to learn to love. Let us pray. We praise when thank you, loving Father for all that you have bestowed on us, for this life, for our relationships, for the health we enjoy, our talents and strengths, our food, our occupation, the shelter over our heads. We thank you for everything that brings meaning into our lives and we pray that we may always make full use of everything that you give us for your greater glory. May we multiply the blessings you give us with the people we encounter and meet. May we always reflect the word of God in everything that happens to us. And may people identify and discover your presence in each one of us. We thank you for the gift of Mary who presented our Lord in the temple and presents us to you as her devotees and disciples of your son Jesus. As we seek your blessings on us, we pray that you may always strengthen us in our journey through life, especially in our difficult moments, that we may surrender to you as Peter did in the gospel. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our novena prayer. O most holy Mary, o most holy Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus, Mother of our Lord Jesus, Queen of the Universe, Queen of the Universe, and Refuge of Sinners, and Refuge of Sinners, we greet you, we greet you, as we prepare, as we prepare, to celebrate your birthday, to celebrate your birthday, your faith in God, your faith in God, and obedience to His will, and obedience to His will needs to be imitated by us. Needs to be imitated by us. We know you will commend. All our petitions to Jesus, all our petitions to Jesus, as you did at the wedding at Cana, as you did at the wedding at Cana. We are assured that Jesus, we are assured that Jesus, at your request, at your request, will do what is best for us. Will do what is best for us. We pray for ourselves, we pray for ourselves, for our families and friends, for our families and friends, and for our parish and society. And for our parish and society, especially for our different needs, especially for our different needs, which we place before you, which we place before you, you may make your intentions. May you receive our prayers. May you receive our prayers and bless us with a heart like yours. And bless us with a heart like yours. Full of love and compassion. Full of love and compassion. So that like you, so that like you, we may serve, we may serve our heavenly Father, our heavenly Father, who lives and reigns with Jesus, your Son, who lives and reigns with Jesus, your Son, and the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. God forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
I want to thank you for your participation in these days of the Novena. Every evening from 6 to 7, Holy Communion is distributed in the place close to the sacristy. And we've been grateful to the parishioners who've been coming in with all the rice, tea powder, the oil and soaps meant for distribution to the needy. On Sundays, communion is distributed only in the morning between 10 and 11 a.m. Continue to pray to Our Lady to intercede for us, not just for this time of pandemic, but also for peace in the world. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. No one can live as an island, journeying to life alone. Since we are most loved by your mother, Jesus gave us his own. Be with us when we are alone. Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son. Come with us, Mary. Come. Come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary. Come with us, Mary. Come.